Hey what's going on guys it's Dark here and what I've got for today is a brand new series on my channel which is going to be a class setup every week once a week and it's going to be a class setup that I use or a class setup that I think is going to be good for getting DNA bombs so this is actually a, a sort of serious thing that uh, Chukster has which is a friend that I know from YouTube and Twitter and Twitch as well and um, he's in the same clan as well he helped, he helped get me into uh, Team Elite but basically he's uh, obviously like loads of different YouTubers do different things like a uh, best class setup for this or best class setup for like these game modes or to get DNAs or chems you know and uh, basically what Troopster does is he is doing one where every single weekend he's doing a, a DNA bomb uh, class setup well I don't know if he's actually specifically DNA bomb but he's just doing his class setups and um, basically I said to him like you know can I do one as well like for once a week uh, I'm not necessarily going to do it on the weekend but I could just do it sort of whenever but it will be once a week and uh I said to him, could I sort of do that as well, you know, I didn't want to seem like it's copying, obviously doing it at the same time as him, but I was planning on doing uh, class setups uh, for my channel anyway, to obviously show everyone uh, what classes that I use, so yeah, thanks to him anyway, like, you know, he said that it's all cool, and I'll leave his uh, link down in the uh, description below uh, to his channel, so uh, uh, you could, like, check that out, subscribe to it, check his videos out, he has a really good game, please. So yeah, anyway, yeah, the first class that I'm going to start off with uh, for this week is the AK-12 class, so... Uh, in the recent patch, um, I'm just going to give a quick uh, overview of the recent patch that happened in Advanced Warfare for next gen. So uh, the bow gets nerfed, the HBR got nerfed, um, the EM1 laser gun got buffed, as like the damage on that got buffed. Um, yeah, so yeah, the bow got nerfed in terms of damage at long range, and the uh, HBR got dam damage uh, nerfed at long range, and um, yeah, the EM1 buffed uh, buffed their damage. But the AK-12, I think, stayed the same. But where the the bow and the HBR, uh, where they were like the most dominant guns and they were the most powerful guns, now that they're not, all the other guns sort of a uh, they're like obviously a little bit better. They seem a lot better. So now I've been using the AK-12. So what I'm going to start off with is the AK-12 itself. Like I, I used I used the AK-12 feeder uh, because it has more ammo, more fire rate. It does take down the handling, but you really don't notice that. But um. If you have to, if you just have the standard AK-12, which everyone should, uh, you can just use that. It's absolutely fine. It's still the same thing, really. But um, I still use these same attachments on the standard AK-12. If I had, if I didn't have this one anyway, so the attachments to use that I use are suppressor, uh, stock, and extended mags. So in this class, uh, or in this AK-12, uh, you actually get more ammo. I think you get three extra bullets. So if you, if you are like a person who uh, doesn't really use up all their mag like all the time so like in this class if you've got extended mags you get 49 bullets if you don't have extended mags you get 33 or 34 like so I can't remember exactly what it was but um if you yeah if you don't if you're not bothered about extended mags then I'd probably go with um I'd probably go with like quick draw or maybe parabolic microphone or even foregrip if you can't control the recoil uh, even red dot some people enjoy red dot but um no, for me I prefer extended mags to have more ammo uh, and I use stock because in every sort of Call of Duty I've always liked to have um, like Stalker in Ghost uh, and I think stock in Black Ops and it was uh, I can't remember what it was in MW3 but it was I'm not sure if it was a perk or I think it was was it Stalker in Black Ops uh, in Modern Warfare 3 I can't remember but I've always had that on ARs anyway no matter what so that's my EQ12 um, uh, attachments but obviously, like I say, if you, if you don't want it standing mags, then you're not too bothered. You can always put foregrip or quick draw on it. So, onto the perks. I have low profile. I find this as a perk that, like, you should use, really. It's like a must perk. If you're going for, like, DNA bombs, uh, it's a perk that you're going to need. Because now that the recent patch has made points go from 50 to 100 now for a kill, a lot more people are getting UAVs and a lot easier. So, it's best to use low profile to obviously take yourself off the UAV. Uh, the second perk I use is peripherals. Um, it's pretty much since Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost always had a minimap that was like, uh, if you turn like sort of horizontally, so the minimap was horizontal, it would show a really big map. And I always found that uh, I I really liked that. And in other Call of Duty, the minimap was small, but obviously you had to sort of get used to that and you had to get on with it because there was no way to make the minimap big unless you press the start button to see the whole minimap. So since Ghost, I've always enjoyed a big minimap, so I thought, right, I'll put on peripherals. And it really does help. You can see, like, enemies from really far away uh, if they're on the UAV. You know exactly where they are. Whereas, like, if you have a little uh, small minimap and it just shows a red dot, like, say, in front of you at the top of the minimap, 
you don't know where they could be. They could be right down near the map, or they could be in the room next to you, and you won't know. So I've, I've, I like to have peripherals on, so I, I can see like the whole map. Um, on to perk three, I use scavenger toughness. I think these are a must perk. Scavengers are must perk, um, because obviously, like you know, more ammo. You're gonna need more ammo if you're going for DNA bombs, and um, toughness again. It's like having focus in uh, Call of Duty Ghost. It's like a must perk, must yeah, use perk, but. For some reason, when I'm playing against people and they don't use toughness and they're getting them straight on gunfire, their gun raises so high they get headshot. When I use it, I don't know if it's just because I aim higher maybe, and then when like I don't use toughness and my gun kicks up, my um, bullets obviously just go over their head instead of like on their head. I don't know, but for me personally, I'd rather use toughness. It does win you a lot more gunfights, uh, at, definitely at long range as well. Um, if you're at long range and you don't have toughness, your gun's going to raise up and you ain't going to kill them. Whereas if you have toughness, your gun will stay steady and you'll be able to kill him. So I think toughness is a must perk. But if you don't have scavenger and you're not level 35 yet, I'd probably either go with hardwired or blast suppressor. But I'd mainly say hardwired because uh, now that it's 100 points per kill in the recent patch, you're gonna need um, uh, you, you're gonna need this on. So like when people use sister packs against you, you won't see them. Uh, well, they won't they won't know like um, that you've been sister packed. Obviously, they'll be you still see your hard, you still see your bullets, you still see everything. On the screen, it's basically just like not having. Uh, it's basically just the same as them not calling in a sister pack. But the only problem is you won't be able to call in kill streaks because the sister pack is still active. So that's the only disadvantage that. But yeah, if you have, if you are level 35 and above, definitely go as scavenger. You're gonna need that. And then onto the onto the uh, score streaks. I use the UAV, which I use the speed, extra time, threat detection. I find the threat detection is probably one of the best ever attachments is UAV because like it's like an oracle from Ghosts and plus. Uh, the and plus, like if you, if they have low profile, you can still see them. The only way that they can't see, uh, like you can't see them, is if they have. I think it's cold blood in them. So definitely go with threat detection. Go with speed. Obviously, quicker uh, sweep through like the map. You'll see like obviously quicker like uh, people quicker and extra time. Obviously, it lasts extra uh, longer. And then sister pack, I use extra uh, extended time again. Uh, extra assist points, which obviously um, help you get to your next score streak. And disable it so so this so people can't jump up then they can't dash left and right, and after that I had uh, 12 out of 13 slots used and it's up to you what you want to use. If you want to use the secondary and you want to use the pistol, you know go ahead and use the pistol that might help you out. But for me I use overclock because there's sometimes when I need to get to a cap quick, you know to get 200 points, and I find ex uh, overclock helps. Or to get out of a situation I just quickly put an overclock and just run in it. You know, it gets to wherever I am. So, yeah, that's really all I want to say, to be honest, for uh, this class setup. So, yeah, I'm just going to say thanks to Jukes, definitely, you know, for, you, you said it's cool for me to just, like, you know, uh, do a class setup every, uh, weekly. So, you know, I didn't want to copy him. So, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it, really. So, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, can we try and hit 15 likes this video? I think that'd be, uh, I think that'd be good. We've been here for 10, and we've actually been hitting 10 as well, so that's good. So, I think we should try and go for 15 on this video. So, yep. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.